Hi, today we're going to be talking about Nomad from a beginner perspective. Uh, if you've never used a 3D program before, and maybe Nomad's your entry into 3D space, it's a great way to get started with 3D. It's not like all 3D modeling programs. So Blender is a very popular one. It's free. It's very powerful. I love it as well. It's a polygonal modeler by default. It also has sculpting tools within it. Polygonal modeling just means that you're gonna be selecting vertices, points basically, edges and faces. And that's the main mode of manipulating 3D space. Nomad is more like playing with clay or Play-Doh. So all the same concepts apply. If you know how to sculpt with clay, you're gonna have a lot of fun and you're gonna probably be a good 3D sculptor as well. Here is a fresh project file of Nomad. When you first open it, you get a sphere here in the center and along the perimeter of the app are a lot of tools and menus. And we'll talk about them as we go. So what I wanna do is talk about just navigating the 3D space. And to help me do that, I'm gonna come down here to the shortcuts bar and I'm gonna tap on grid. And now when I move around, we'll be able to see kind of where the plane is. So there are three main gestures. Oh, before I, if you don't have the grid icon, that's okay, you can come up to this menu. And here is add shortcuts, grid is on. And you can see down here, if I toggle it on and off, it disappears. So you can add it there. So navigating the 3D space, there's three main gestures. To orbit, you wanna one finger tap and drag. And this is what orbiting means. It's kind of just moving around the 3D space in kind of all directions. To zoom in and out, it's easy. It's pinch and zoom with two fingers. To pan, it's two finger tap and drag. And that's just dragging your scene. Those are the three main controls. Uh, there's plenty of other ways to see different views quickly. Up here in the top right, there's this thing called the snap cube. I understand that it's a sphere right now. In the settings, you can change it to a cube and you can change it to an XYZ controller. So there's three modes that this, this snap cube can look like. So what it's used for is, you can see here, it's got labels for front, right, top, obviously all the other sides as well. If I were to tap front, it snaps to the front. So this is very useful and I'm using it every time I use Nomad. You can tap top. And what's nice is with the sphere version of this, not so much the cube, you get a little more peaking of the other colors. So top is green, the right and left are red, front and back are blue. So if I tap over here on the red, then I'm gonna get right. And like I said, there's only three colors, but there's a darker one and a lighter one. So this is right. From any angle, if you tap a second time, you'll get a 180 rotation. So right, and I will 180 to left. If I tap top and I tap one more time, 180 to bottom. And if I tap front and I tap one more time, obviously back. So it's a very handy feature to just kind of flip back and forth. Um, so right now my object isn't really centered. There are three more tools here that I'm gonna talk about. One of them is to center your your scene. If you tap home, it's going to attempt to take every object. Right now we only have one object, the sphere, and center it in your scene. To, to help talk about this part of it, I'm gonna clone our object. So I'm gonna come up here to our scene menu. I'm gonna hit clone. I'm gonna grab the gizmo. Don't worry, we're gonna talk about all these things. And now we have two objects. Actually, that's a bad idea. Let's do a cube. I'm gonna hit add and let's add a box. I'm going to scale this just a little bit, move it over. And now it's a little easier to know which one we're looking at, cube and a sphere. Okay, so we were talking about these three icons. And if I were to tap home, home is the way that I think about it is focus all. And what I mean by focus is if I have a lot of things kind of off screen and I hit home, focus all means that it's going to try to show you everything, all the objects within your viewport. The There's a downside for me, at least, is that I was in a perspective view, meaning kind of like top down. And when I hit home, it changes my camera angle. But I like that it shows me everything. I just don't like that it changes my camera angle. So the other bracket icon here, this one, the four brackets, that is considered focus selected. So right now you can see that my cube is selected. So if I tap the bracket for this, it's gonna focus attempting to center and frame the object I have selected. If I were to pan over and just tap the sphere with my finger, and then I hit focus selected, it's gonna move over. So the plus side is my camera angle didn't change. If I tap one more time on the bracket, not home, this is the thing that I like to do. So I can tap once on the bracket, tap again on the bracket. I get the same like home functionality, but without the camera angle change. 
So remember home changes your camera angle. If I tap focus selected and I tap it one more time, then I toggle between show me all. So here tap and then show me all. So I like to use the bracket. That's my preferred. There's also a shortcut for this. I'll talk about it just in a second. So I like this because it doesn't change my camera angle and I can see all my objects or the selected one. So lock is what you think. I can't change my camera angle. I can still zoom, but when I one finger touch now, you can see my screen. I'm trying to move my camera. It's locked and it tells me on the screen as soon as I try to do it, it's telling me like, hey, it's locked. If you were to tap one of these tools, if you tap home, even though, watch if I try to lock the scene, and I tap home, uh, you can see it unlocked it. Okay, I said that there was another shortcut for focus selected. So remember the bracket icon, focus selected. So if you tap on an object, and when you select an object, notice the sort of magenta pink selection color. That lets you know which one you tapped on. If you tap on something and it doesn't light up, means it was already selected. So I'm gonna tap on the screen two times. Sorry, sometimes it doesn't react quite as fast, but tapping two times on the screen anywhere will also do focus selected if I tap two more times. So rather than tapping on this icon, which is totally, it's not a lot of effort, but you can tap anywhere on the screen two times real quick. There is a third way to do this and you can open the scene menu. The scene menu will show you all the objects in sort of a layers view, all the objects that you have in your scene. And if I were to tap two times on sphere, it does the same thing. Two times on box, zoom in, two times on sphere. The only thing it doesn't have is show all. Yeah. So I like to, I think I, for the most part, I use the bracket. So that is navigating the 3D space, the snapping. There's also a short, it's not really a shortcut. You can tap and hold for two seconds on the snap cube and it will also lock. But I think the lock icon is the fastest way. Okay. Thanks for watching. Keep making things and I'll see you in the next video.